I'm Nathan Ponchard, this is Chasing Cars, and Honda Australia released their model range and pricing for the 11th generation Civic this week. A car that they describe as very sporty and a massive step up. It's just one single flagship variant called the VTI LX, even though it doesn't have that badge on the car and it'll be priced at $47,200 drive away, which has been, I suppose, questioned a little bit by people as to being perhaps too expensive. To put that price in a context, it's roughly $700 more than what the top spec Mazda 3 Skyactiv X X20 Astina costs, which is 46 and a half drive away, and compared to say the top spec Golf, well, the mainline Golf is a 110 TSI R-Line with a vision package and a sunroof, costs about just over $45,000 drive away. So it's sort of in the ballpark of where its main competitors are, but still more expensive than those cars. Audi hasn't launched its new generation A3 yet, but they've revealed the pricing of that car and it starts at $46,300 before on-road costs. And the entry-level BMW 1 Series is the 118i M Sport that starts at $47,570 before on-road costs. So the Civic is very much priced in premium territory. On sale from December the 6th, the new generation Civic VTI LX does have a fairly extensive list of standard equipment. On the outside it has full LED lighting, it has a pop-up pedestrian bonnet, it has 18-inch alloy wheels that are black with like an anthracite machined facing and 23540 R18 Goodyear Eagle tyres. On the inside it has perforated suede centres in the seats and red stitching, but the trim is actually synthetic leather, not real leather. The driver gets eight-way electric adjustment, but the passenger only gets four-way electric adjustment. It does have Honda's biggest ever touchscreen, which is nine inches, which is good for a Honda. It also includes wireless Apple CarPlay, wired Android Auto, 12 speakers, which are both premium speakers, including a subwoofer. It has auto up down front windows, but not in the back. The back also doesn't get two USB ports, only the front does. It does have rear air vents though for the rear seat and dual zone climate control, heated front seats, heated and auto folding mirrors, keyless entry and start and navigation with over the air updates. The single model for now features Honda's updated 1.5 litre turbo petrol four cylinder tied to a CVT transmission. However, a hybrid engine version will be coming later in 2022, Honda Australia says second half. And let's not forget, there's also a new generation Type R coming and that will release in Australia by the end of 2022. We'll have a full review of the new generation Civic on Tuesday, December the 14th on the Chasing Cars YouTube channel or on chasingcars.com.au.